The ziggurat pyramid of the Amphion in Thebes, Greece, is estimated to be 4,500 years old and maybe even older. The base of the pyramid is 2.2 meters, then comes another layer of 4.4 meters and finally we have the top layer which is 8.8 .8 meters in height, giving the ziggurat a final height of 15.4 meters. Some claim that the structure consisted of another top layer of 17.6 meters which was destroyed in ancient times, those creating a ziggurat pyramid of 33 meters, exactly like the ones of Sumer in Mesopotamia, adding to the fact that these cultures might have been in contact much earlier than officially presumed. The ziggurat is mentioned by the ancient Greek tragic poets, as well as Xenophon, Plutarch and Pausanias, one of the most famous geographers and travelers of his time. In recent years, the ziggurat was first identified by an archaeologist named Keramopoulos, and was later excavated in the 1960s by Theodoros Pyropoulos, also an archaeologist. His findings pointed out to the fact that this site was an ancient burial mound and that the tomb had been looted by gravediggers in as early as the 13th century BC, possibly by Mycenaeans. A piece of pottery found at the site was dated to be 4,600 years old and among other things the archaeologists also found four golden coins and one small wheel. The golden coins were possibly created to fit in a woman's necklace. The archaeologists also found bones and skeletal remains, both inside and outside of the tomb, adding to the theory that the place was used as a burial site. The tomb had underground tunnel systems and ancient Greek historians wrote that the neighboring Tithorians were actively making underground raids in order to steal the golden artifacts. Thus, the people of Thebes had to install a watch to prevent the looting of the tomb. Who created these underground tunnel systems and how far did they reach? Nobody has an answer to these questions, as the tunnels may probably be older than the ziggurat itself and are probably dated to the 4th millennium BC. The destruction of the site makes it almost impossible to calculate the circumference and the diameter of the structure by the time it was built. In the 1960s, archaeologists managed to get inside of the mound and were fascinated. The mound has a well of 1 meter in diameter and 20 meters in depth. The underground tunnels are 5 meters in height and about 1.8 meters in diameter and have galleries of 60 to 70 centimeters. The mound is said to have been used as shelter during the Nazi occupation of Greece. The original builders were probably the Meneas, an ancient proto-Greek tribe which possessed amazing manufacturing, building and constructing capabilities. The mount was a natural hill, but the Meneas managed to fully transform it into a stepped ziggurat pyramid. It was the Meneas who constructed amazing technical feats during the 3rd millennium BC. Their secret origins go back in a time where the writing of history wasn't even invented. Many historians believe that the ziggurats were the resting places of the founders of ancient cities. In this case, the founders of Thebes were the twin brothers Amphion and Zithos. According to archaeologist Spiropoulos, mortar was used to make the ziggurat look shiny and it may have worked as guideline for ancient pilgrims who visited the place. To date, no geophysical testing has been performed on the mound, although archaeologists are pressing the Ministry of Culture in Greece to conduct excavations on site and the ministry is running out of excuses. If archaeologists get permission to excavate and unearth the Greek ziggurat, then global history will change and will never be the same. Thanks for watching everyone and please remember to subscribe and leave your comments in the description.